this is Dr. Adeline Tang from University Malaysia Sabah. This video clip is to explain Unify Marketing Protocols Fundamental of Entrepreneurial Acculturation. Let's look at the cost outline first. In this Unit 5, we are going to know the fundamentals of marketing. You need to understand the application of two marketing strategies that is KLT and CVO in marketing and understand the use of content in marketing. So let's look at what do you mean by marketing first. Marketing is a process of giving information to influence the customer's thoughts and actions of a product or service. Marketing will influence the consumer through three aspects. First, marketer might want to introduce a new brand, a new product, or new service to the consumer. So, marketer will inform the consumer about what product is that. They will also tell the consumer about the benefits of using that product. Next, marketer will try to strengthen the branding of a product or service. In another word, Marketer is trying to make sure that consumer remember the brand name, the product, or the service provided by a company. And third, the purpose of marketing is trying to increase the sales of a company. Marketer is trying to promote the product to new customer as well as to existing customers to make sure that both new and existing customer will buy that product and it is always important to remember that to attract a new customer is much more expensive than to maintain the existing customer so marketing will have the purpose to maintain the sales among the existing customers as well as to the new customers so before marketer planning for any marketing strategy Marketer will have to analyze the environment first. So, one way to analyze the environment is by doing swap analysis. Swap sent from the word S for strengths, W for weaknesses, O for opportunities, and T for threats. Swap analysis is to analyze an organization's internal factor, strengths and weaknesses, as well as external factor opportunities and threats to create the foundation of a marketing strategy so it is very important to address the weaknesses of the company and trying to make improvements to the company so that there are no longer weaknesses and they are able to do better and at the same time marketers is time to make use of the opportunity that they face in the market to solve or reduce the threats that they face. So let's look at the example of swap factor. First, for swap for strengths, the strength of the companies are such as uh, the uniqueness of the product or services. The company have enough capital, and the company have uh, knowledge, and the workers have skills. While the weaknesses are such as the products in terms of maybe the packaging of products not as good or the company do not have enough capital in doing um, investment or they do not have experience in marketing. While the opportunities are potential or future opportunities that influence the consumer perception towards that product. For example, consumers who are very concerned with healthcare, they might have higher opportunity or interest to buy healthcare product or product that improve their health. And at the same time, other opportunity are such as a new opportunity in terms of a new market, new opportunity in terms of a new use of a certain product. While the threats that facing by a company are such as potential competitors that coming in and other factors that affect the business such as the social economy factor the consumer might have lower income that might affect their opportunity or their their willingness to buy certain product after we plan for the swap analysis now we have to start to think how are we going to plan for the product let's look at the flow analysis of product or service when the company has some ideas what to do. Now they have to think whether the 
product idea or service solve the customer problems or not and second is they have to make sure that the ideas will add value to the consumer consumer find that they will enjoy more value more benefit when they are using that product so after we have that idea then the first thing we have to do is to do market segmentation okay market segmentation in another word is we are doing segmenting of the market we are trying to segment the market into different groups of consumer this is the first step because we determine what type of consumers that we are trying to sell to then only we can confirm whether the product or service that we are trying to provide is suitable for them so let's look at marketing segment for marketing segment remember that there are four factors that affect marketing segment or four factors that can be used to determine which segment we can sell to them so the first factor is demography we can determine the segment based on their age or gender and at the same time maybe we can refer to social economic factor to segment the market so we can segment the market based on their income level for example we can sell higher quality expensive product to high income group then for people with a low education background they might prefer certain things so we can sell to them while at the same time we can also use geographical factor to determine which group of consumer we want to sell to let's say if my business is located in kk then i might want to sell to consumers who are uh, living in the area kk and surrounding area next we also can use psychology factors such as the lifestyle and the values to segment the market so for certain consumers who are likes to play basketball then we might sell something relevant to them while consumers who are very concerned with their health we might have different type of product to sell to them so this market segmentation will help us to reduce the cost of marketing okay to reduce the cost of marketing and also help us to make sure that the message that we're trying to tell to the customer will reach the right target market so after we determine the segment then the next thing we have to do is we have to validate what product or services that we are trying to sell to them whether this product or services that we try to sell is suitable for that group of consumer and at the same time do not forget when we have these ideas we have to make sure that the ideas will help to satisfy the consumer needs the customer really find that they, they want to buy that product and at the same time do not forget that we have to make sure that the product or service that we are trying to sell is something that affordable by the consumer affordable that means the consumer is willing to pay for that product and only that we have to determine the we can determine the marketing mix let's look at the marketing mixer the traditional marketing mix has four p's product price promotion and place is the traditional four p's but the new marketing mix have actually seven p's which included also physical evidence people and process so let's look at the first p the first p is the product itself so for the product itself we are talking about the unit selling proposition or the unit selling point we are also looking at the branding the packaging whether the product helping to solve problem what value added by a product quality of product as well as the customer service provided for the particular product or service so let's look at usb first so usb like uh, which i explained earlier unit selling point or unit selling proposition is actually a factor that differentiate a product from its competitors in another word what are the uniqueness of the product or services that we are trying to sell so we might have direct unique selling point 
which are such as uh, quality of material is very high the material have a good qualification or HALA certificate for example and the usage of the product is very good and very suitable for its purposes at the same time the product might have indirectly USB, indirect USB such as the product can be used for other purposes the warranty is given for the product and additional customer service might be provided and other document to guarantee the use of that product so it's very important for us to remember that the USB for product and services might be different for example here you can see that for product we might have a high quality materials we have functionality but for service the USB might be proficiency and expertise but sometimes product and services might have similar USB for example in terms of good testimonial in terms of affordability and uh, easy to use or convenience to use so these are the some of the example of USB besides that for product remember that for product we are talking about branding okay branding is very important so for branding what do you mean by branding branding actually is a process that creates unique persistent perception and experience in the minds of consumer so to do branding actually we have four factor here first we are we must have brand name of a product so pe when people say about that name people will remember that for example when people say lego then you you can remember this is a kind of a toy for the kids to play and when we look at the logo certain logo then we can remember oh what product is this this is produced by which company and for example for slogan as well slogan will help us to rem remind us about certain product or service for example a asia slogan everybody can try when everybody hear this we we remember this is the service provided by a asia and at the same time also color also represent the company and remember that color will have certain meaning in the mind of consumer for example when companies who are selling a healthcare product or company who are focusing on a natural products or peaceful product then they prefer to use green color in contrast company who are trying to sell excitement youthfulness related to young adult they prefer to use a red color because this represent youth and young and excitement while companies who want to produce tr a trust among the consumer for example intel company they prefer to use blue color so the color that they use is trying to gain a share in the mind of consumer so for example mcd here they give uh, they have different type of product so they have a breakfast happy meal a set meal they have dessert they have drink they also have a uh, catering for parties and meetings so these are the different type of product that people are selling next let's look at the price for the price we must know what are the costs how high is the cost of the product before we can set the price because after we know the cost then only we can mark up certain margin to determine the price level and at the same time we might have differentiating pricing strategy so we might set different price for different group of consumer for example for certain restaurant they give discount special to young kid below five years old and discount to elder generation who are above 60 years old this is differentiated pricing but sometimes to promote the sales company also do discount so when we set discount it is very important for us to remember that discount given means that our price is lower so if we reduce our profit margin but we have to make sure that whether this profit margin is able to cover the cost or not and in terms of pricing also we have to help consumer to think what are the payment options that they can get and how to give them more value through the pricing that they 
they get here okay so for pricing sometimes you might have a price for bundle price for individual product for example here bundling pricing also you can set a psychology pricing when we say psychological pricing okay when we set a price like uh, 99 cent when people ask about the price the answer is oh below one ringgit so if you give people an impression that the product is cheap huh? because it's below one ringgit so that is what we call um, psychological pricing next we look at the third p the third p is promotion for promotion we are we have traditional offline channel of promotion for example newspaper television and radio these are traditional channel while at the same time now we will have we do have online promotion for example a promotion in facebook instagram and uh, email and uh, whatsapp and other online tools so when we are planning for promotion remember that we have to set the strategy for promotion we have to remember what kind of promotion that we can give to our consumer and uh, we also have to remember what how to schedule our promotion when is the best time to promote the product for example uh, to do online promotion let's say we want to do promotion in facebook or instagram we might prefer to do the promotion after office hour when people are free at home when people start to check on uh, their facebook or instagram account that might be the best time to do promotion and at the same time remember that the budget of promotion is very important we always remember what is the budget and how are we make use of the limited budget to do the best promotion so in the promotion remember we have to think of the the channel of promotion when we promote through tvs billboard social media this is mostly a type of advertising we do advertising in the media but at the same time we can do sales promotion for example we give discount we give tester for people to test to try the new product or we can uh, give free gifts buy one free one so all these are considered as sales promotion for the purpose to promote people to buy more but always remember we have limited budget so we have to make good use of the promotion budget and at the same time the we have to look at the place of uh, marketing place here refers to the distribution channel for example the way can we sell our product do we need to set up a store or a shop to sell our product or we just do delivery of our product so this is very important because we have to make sure that the product that we sell will reach the hand of consumer and consumer will be happy with the distribution uh, method that we are using and at the same time also the cost of distribution very important must be counted when we are counting the price okay, the next for physical evidence we have to look at the business present where uh, uh, where can consumer look at the business present normally now we have a website to show consumer this is our shop and we we can tell people consumer that oh we are selling this product so we have this documentation for example we already registered with the government so we have uh, maybe we have halal certificates all these are important evidence to provide uh, consumer with uh, confidence to buy our product and then at the same time review and testimonials by consumer also very important because if you encourage consumer to buy our product when consumer uh look at other comments and they they find that other consumers are happy with the product so they also have the confidence to buy our product next will be the people the management team and the staff these are the people who are going to serve the consumer directly so we have to make sure that the staff the management team they know how to serve the consumer the right way suitable with the type of products that we are selling 
and then so this will affect by our culture culture of the company and it will uh, improve our customer service if we have good good staff who know how to serve the customer properly suitable with the type of product that we are selling and last will be the process or the activities that we are going to do and the process included the process before sale for example preparing the product for sale the process during the sales for example activities uh, when we conducted when we are selling and the after sales activities all these are the process and if we are doing online business we always remember we need IT support we always um, take note the problems faced by consumer when they are going online all these are very important and if possible the companies must always try to do research and development to improve the customer knowledge about that product or service after we look at the marketing mix now it's time for us to look at the marketing strategy so this marketing strategy are very important or very good for a company who are new in the market or company who like to promote new product or services the first strategy that we are going to look at it now is the no like and trust concept or klt concept so for this no like and trust concept first we have to know that we have many consumer in the market okay some of these consumer are, are our suspect customer that means that they might have the opportunity to buy from us so first of all is we need to let them know our product so how to let them know our product is we need to do something to attract their attention for example we are doing some uh, promotion to let them know our product we do advertisement we tell them our about our product the uniqueness and the benefits of using our product after that then we are trying to find out who some of them who might have higher prospect to buy from us so for this group of consumer then we try to create the the perception of them that our product is good and they will like to buy our product so now we are trying to do more marketing and by this marketing we are trying to increase the sales of our product so we are trying to change this group of consumer into the real customer of our pro uh, of our company so what we are doing is we might have even more cup of uh, promotion now we might give them a discount voucher we might give them a buy one buy free one or or special discount for buying extra and last the third step is after we know that they are our consumers or our customers now we want to build a trust among them we are trying to sell as much as possible to them so we will give them like a some voucher discount voucher for them to come back to buy from us again so these are some type of promotion that we can do so for this klt system we are trying to build up the consumer from the perspective of no after that we want them to like our product and last they are going to trust our product and come back to buy from us again so this is the first klt concept that uh, we can use and we have another strategy that marketer can do we call it customer value optimization cvo okay cvo so cvo is a process that marketer can try to increase the quantity and frequency of customer purchase by providing value added offer to them so we have to determine first of all we have to determine the product or the service marketing value first what are the value of the product and next under CVO we have to choose the best traffic source it means that from where can we get the customers is it from the Facebook apps search engine optimization or other social media like Instagram YouTube or do we have our blog or our website to promote our product and 
how about the use of other advertising words to promote our product okay in the cbo concept we are uh, using what we call sales funnel mm -hmm. to determine what step or what can we do in every step okay so we will start by offering the consumer who might not know our product or service to give them lead magnet okay to give them lead magnet the purpose of lead magnet is to collect data by providing them with free gifts or free sample free thing okay i have one example here so by offering them the lead magnet okay we are trying to collect their names their email or the handphone numbers so what information we would like to collect is depends on the the purpose of the company okay the company if the company wanted to do email marketing they will collect email if the company likes to do marketing using whatsapp they will co collect a handphone number to do a promotion using whatsapp okay so by giving some uh, free thing for example free ramen free drink or free classes to to try out then we can collect some customer information to allow us to do the next step of promotion so after we offer lead magnet what should we do next the second step is to offer them with trip wire trip wire meaning that to sell some things at a lower price before we sell at the normal price so when we want to sell something with at the lo lower price normally we we'll give discount okay for example here for gym classes free classes for three weeks this is a uh, lead magnet after that we offer them with lower membership fee per month for let's say uh, two months or three months but bear in mind when we offer trip wire we do not offer the normal product or we offer a cheaper version of product for example we offer them with membership without offering them with locker room and uh, other services okay and other services so this is trip wire after we offer them with trip wire then we will offer them with core product core product in another word is the normal product or the standard product with the standard price and size because after the consumer try our product they might have confidence with our product already now we want them to start to buy our product at the normal price at the normal price so i have one example also here with the gym classes now we are going to offer them with the core product by giving them membership fees this is the standard price 85 ringgit per month uh, with free tower and free locker room so uh, the normal product will start come with the standard service or standard product size after we offer to the core product now the consumer are consider the customers are consider our customer already but we are trying to sell more to them okay we want to sell more to them how now we offer them with profit multiplier so we offer them with add-ons or add sales so normally we make more profit by this offer add-ons or add sales i have one example also here you can see so after we offer them with call product then we offer them with add-ons for example gym or any uh, other product that they can eat for for bodybuilding for example in Mac mcdonald okay they also offer add-on for example they they ask you to add uh the add on the size okay the size of the drink and the size of the fry so this is also add-on so that the company can earn more profit by offering the add-on so after we offer the add-on then we also have to provide customer with return path we hope that they will come to buy from us again and again so we have to provide them ways to come back for return purchase for example we give them uh, some offer let's say uh, some companies they will say after you buy 10 drinks you will get one drink free 
for free. So this is by offering them with return pump. Encourage them to buy a big amount. After that, give them something free for them to come back to buy again. So bear in mind, um, you can use many methods to do this. Huh? You can do email marketing. Email them the information. Email them with the voucher, the discount information so that they will come to buy from us. Or broking. Uh, provide all the information in the blog or website for them to get to know your product or we can do retargeting meaning that we can target new customers to buy our product we can use social media to do our promotion and we can get target audience to do the promotion so okay so this that's all for the first part of the marketing unit my next video will explain about the creative content that we can use for marketing. Thank you and hope you enjoyed this video and do not forget to watch our my next video. Thank you.